Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in a new video related to the civil engineering and construction information. Guys, in this video, I am going to provide you change order format for the site construction work or any construction work or any related to the construction work, you can use this change order formats. Now, we all know that whenever we do any sort of construction, we face lots of problem related to the contractual things. But change order is the one of the very important and precise document which help you to increase the contracts amount or decrease the contract amount. Okay, so change order can be used by both the site. It can be used from the client, it can be used from the subcontractor, it can be used from the contractor also. Okay, so this is one of the very important video for all civil engineers and the contractors. I am going to provide you this free excel sheet to all of you. You can download easily. Watch the video till the end, you will get all the information. So first of all, I will take you to this format. Okay, what format exactly it is. But before this, let's understand what is a change order. So every construction required various forms to perform necessary action at the time of construction. So this particular website, civilnotes.com, okay, this is my website, civilnotes.com. I'm going to provide you the link in the description box. Okay, you can directly go click on that link and download this Excel format. Okay, so, so this change format allow every customer or every contractor to raise the financial changes which might be negative or positive. It is not only a financial aspect, it can be a time. Like if someone wants to, in some contractor wants to increase the duration along with the financial change. So you need to use a change order, right? So this change order format you can easily download, right? There is no any pop up or nothing like that. Just go and download the thing. So let's take one example. If you are performing the detailed project report for highway project, if you are preparing the DPR for the highway project and it's required the extension of time, then change order is a valuable document. So with the help of this document, you can do the changes on that into that one, right? Uh, example number two, if the contractor performing the construction of the high rise building and it is observed that it required the extra time or he observed missing item, then he can raise the change order to get the scope. It means he can ask the client that I required extra cost and with this cost due to this, this work. So for that change order is the very necessary important document. So what are the element of the change order? So additional addition of the direct cost like extra labors, extra material, extra equipment, deduction of the cost from the client side might be removal of the material, removal of the labor quantity or machineries, total construction contractor cost, what is the subcontractor cost, what is the main description, why you require that change, there is some adjustment or markups uh, related to the cost, project number, contractor number, date and BOQ, every single thing is very precise and very, Im very important for this change order. Right. So let me take you to the change order format. So you can see guys, if you just come on this website, you need to click on this one link change order format for site construction. If you just click on this one pop up will open and you can easily download this Excel sheet from this link. Okay. Now, so, okay. You can just click. Okay. And you can download or you can use it. Okay. Now, if I just go to the Excel format, so see, here you can fill your project name. I'm just putting the name as a uh, highway, okay, construction, perfect. Then project number I'm putting like, uh, just take an example. It's uh, 8585936, just take an example. Okay, you can just go here and I'm just making alignment. Contractor name, I can just say civil notes, civil notes, okay there might be your contractor uh, name might be different contract no, contract number uh, i can say uh, lp dash uh, pp dash 8585 something like that there is a div various different kind of the contract number i am putting today days as a 23rd of october 2024 okay now 
what is the change in a description okay that change description you need to write here okay that's very very crucial thing you need to make here okay oh just a minute so i'm writing here that uh, uh, the existing existing this existing contract uh, does not uh, contain the removal of removal of existing highway assets like there is already assets okay but that that is not their assets uh, uh, so this change change order is is for the removal 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 of removal of existing exist exist existing um, highway assets which required required for uh, main main and sub subcontractor okay so the consideration is there is a highway but for that highway uh, we do required a sorry we do required okay that the the existing highway assets is not a part of the contract okay but we do require the cost to execute the work okay without cost how you can remove the or remove any anything right so that's the reason okay we do require this let me just figure it out something let me just do this some some importance adjustment for you so you can easily work out on this okay right perfect and let me just make a box over there don't worry it's very simple is very simple excel guys you can easily work out on this excel right just download this excel and start working right okay now so what is the main work now we got a description of change so what is the labor cost uh, this is in the INR you can change any currency I'm just putting the in the rupees right now okay I am considering that uh, 20 lakh 20 lakh is a labor cost uh, material cost is uh, 10 lakh rupees okay right equipment cost is a uh, 45 lakh rupees right so this is a total cost which we required right okay so this will be the total cost let me just do some currency adjustment here if you if you can't you can do like that okay INR you need to come here multiple currencies you can identify here okay yeah INR okay like this okay perfect now now what is a deduction cost um, from the contractor side if yes, from the client side if client says no there might be this much is a deduction cost okay and client says no deduct 1 lakh rupees okay so, okay deduct uh, uh, 1.5 lakh rupees from the material right not 15 lakhs okay deduct 3 the deduct uh, 3 lakh rupees okay because what happened when we put these things so client blindly never accept these things so what they do they always they always uh, they always assess the requirement of the change and based on that they do they put their deduction of their cost so it all this should be always in negative right so you can see the total subcontractor cost is a uh, total deduction cost is five lakh fifty thousand okay let me take the format over here okay so you can see right and the total cost would be 75 lakhs minus 5 lakh 50 so it is 69.50 now the general contractor also do some adjustment like uh, they never provide all four figure they will do some adjust like like they will deduct uh, overall 1.5 lakh rupees okay for the work okay so the total cost of construction will be six point uh, like let me just 60 68 lakh rupees right 
now what is the total subcontractor cost that also we do required okay so how we can do that one so for that uh, you need to do the calculation like this only okay and uh, let's consider the subcontractor so told us that they required 36 lakh rupees for the construction work okay and subcontractor adjustment he did like okay if i can provide the discount of around uh, 1.5 lakh rupees okay but the general arrangement markup the general contractor make the adjustment no again you should provide me some 2 lakh rupees as a adjustment okay so total construction cost for this work of the highway assets removal is 1 crore 50000 rupees okay and then contractor need to sign here and date and send it to the uh, send it to the main client so the process will be first change order will submit without this figure without this addition uh, without this markup and without this deduction to the client client assess the requirement then client provide the detail data here and then again a contractor submit to the client okay and after that client will accept so once client accepts so contractor sign okay then client sign okay and the date so this is what the format should be like this and then then the proper work order changes will accept and your contract value will increase from whatever the main amount plus this change order amount okay understand so i hope you like this video okay don't forget guys to visit my website civilnotes.com and if you wanted to do lots of courses okay most of the courses are free of cost okay you can learn lots of things from this website do come this website and learn lots of things okay so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye